already. With their magic blocked by the wizard's attack, Wizdog and Wizmonkey were in big trouble. But once their special powers had been taken away, their natural animal instincts returned in a flash. First, Wizdog used the blank for which dogs are famous, trapping the wizard in a rapid spin. Then Wizmonkey used a monkey's speed to cling to the wizard's face, and his blank attack left the wizard's face in a mess. To escape, the wizard mm. turned into a bird and flew mm. away. By cooperating, the two new partners had saved Rennes. However, when their magical powers had been restored, they returned to fighting like cat and dog like usual. Two pieces are missing. It means that two items of story data are needed. The missing bits must all be set in place, so please bring two identical bits. What the fuck is it? Neither of these things were in that shit that I read. Vulcan 2. Holy shit. Uh, it's B code though. I'm just gonna get rid of our sword until I look up the codes to do it because otherwise I have literally not been able to execute it because I don't know what the codes are. Plunge. Good nose. Scratch. Good eyes. So I think the monkeys scratch. What is the dogs? The dogs good nose to have them spin? Whatever. Bro, I don't know. I'm sitting here just fucking confused. I I'm also confused. Come on, please. No. Couldn't get away. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you uh, realized or not yet, but I did mention that there's only like three unique dungeons in the game, and this is already the second one. No. Everything else is just random bullshit on the internet. So the game doesn't get much better from here. Well, the la the last unique dungeon is actually really cool, which is ironically the uh, the final the, the final comp of the game. And the music fucking slaps. Good nose, then scratch. Wow, that was actually uh correct. I'm shooketh. Please be the last one before I can go to the next cutscene. Huh? Something that's strange. Is the raft broken? Ah, it moved. Now, now, no need to look so worried. It's perfectly safe on top of the raft. It is, really. No. You made it. Please watch your step. What was the point of that? Cunt! This wouldn't be so bad if I could just fucking run from battle. I do have the program advance, but why would I do the program advance when I have Vulcan 2? Once I get past this comp, it should be... Quicker? Yeah. Well, the next tournament starts up, and I actually get things. At the same time as pressing, bars just came out. I'll actually start obtaining stuff again, because at the time, I'm not really getting anything while doing this comp. that machine gun right I press the switch stop switch land good you stopped it Wow, another one over there let's go Roger all right I'm wait yeah I, I read this I read this okay ten man is a steel warrior a robot with no emotion Lived in the jungle, 
Gained emotion after bird friend died. Got sense of guilt. Turned himself into toys. And then it breaks off. I'm going to read this one again. Love and Prince Tomahawk, but because of some evil magic, he was trapped inside a big tree. Okay, this has nothing to do with using a fucking axe as a mirror. Was there something I missed because of an NPC, like, talking about it before? Because if that's the case, then that's mildly annoying. But also my fault for not doing it. I've been waiting! Welcome to the Tin Man Cyber World! As you know, Tin Man is currently running amok. I have no idea what will happen. Are you ready to go? Yep, away we go. Away we go! Another cutscene. What's that? Shooting off all of a sudden. Stop. Stop, please. Something strange. It feels like we're being watched. Yeah, probably by the bat guy. The what guy? Did you say the bad guy or the bat guy? The bat guy. Shade. Shade of Menu. Originally built for war, but now he lived quite... Tin Man didn't have any f emotions, but desiring this gift so much, he often prayed for it. So, war and emotions. I could interpret that from the fucking thing. This has been the easiest one to figure out so far. God damn. War? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Ah! Laser. Whoa, that's a new virus. That's gonna be a cooked virus. But. Hey, and I got a ship. Magbolt 1. I think I need that for a program advance. Emotion. Yes, take it. Take emotion. I actually... I, I, guilty pleasure is I actually like Toy Robocom's theme. But a lot of people apparently find it annoying. So apparently I don't need to grab them in a specific order. I could just grab them. And I could just insert them in a specific order. Blank was Tin Man's friend, uh, that was the bird, and one day he suddenly became still and lifeless. Now cold and without a sign of life, this friend would not reply to the, any of Tin Man's calls. Even when he used his blank, nothing happened. I don't have an answer for that. That's just not in the fucking story. Charge plus one, I might as well. I'm using my charge shot a lot because it's actually fast in this version. Or in this game. Alright, my health, my attack speed, and my damage are now at plus two. Zombie. Uh, can narrow that one out. Dresser. Can narrow that one down. So it's literally these two. Dance? Damn. Sure about that, right? It makes more sense than the rest of it. Sword, wide sword, long sword. Billy, don't move backwards. Hey, it's just his bubbly dance. It's Bubble Man. So you, you know how, like, there's been no returning navvies, pretty much, except for, like, Roll, Glide, and Gutsman in the first two games? Yeah. The first three? Well, uh, from four onwards, they recycle a lot, and there's actually less unique, or new unique navvies than, uh, uh, returning ones at a certain point. There's a lot of <laughs> returning ones in this game, but, uh, next game, there's, like, 50-50 new and... Returning, slash recycled. From under the raft, there's ah viruses. Come on, stop making me fight more than I want to. Oh, wait. No. 
See, I swear that hit the top row on my side. It should have gone diagonal, but apparently it didn't. It should have gone from uh, TRDL. The only thing reliable is my machine gun, fuck's sake! And just keep shooting. That's the plan! That's the land plan. So anyway, I started blasting. Knew it. I knew you were gonna say it. Are you okay? No viruses have ever gotten to the top of the raft before. But but we chased them away, so everything should be fine now. Right, let's get settled and start on our way. Sure about that? This is as sure as he's allowed to be. Without emotion, Tin Man could not understand death. Moved by his plight, God decided to give Tin Man emotion. However, Tin Man had been used in many, many wars, and now remembering his horrible deeds, he felt deep anguish. To atone for his deeds, he decided to be a... To make up for his wrongs, Work. he'd make dreams come true. As he left for the woods and made for town, he almost seemed a little happy. So, toys. He's gonna turn himself into a dildo. Mm. Rag up to... What is my regular memory? I wish there was somewhere besides in the fucking chip uh, folder where that was shown. Oh, you bastards. Politician? Hmm. Dancer? Alright, so it's uh, two of the farthest away ones that I have to go and look at to figure out if it's the correct answer or not. Joyous of joys. Guts, Guts' soul has never felt better. Toy part. If the other one is like something else that's the same thing but technically more correct, I'm gonna be angry. I'm not gonna get the chance to be angry at that because I'm angry at the fucking virus encounter! I'm fine. I'm zen. Are, are you? Yes. Gonna give him the B. Dirty B. Dirty B's done dirt cheap. That's a stand uh, in part seven. Now that I think about it, you said you don't know part seven, so. Whee! D4C is cool. It was tough, but you made it safely. Well done indeed. I don't remember there being a fourth one. But I'm pretty sure there's a fourth one. Because the boss isn't here. There's supposed to be a boss. Unless I'm crazy. Crazy? I, yep, I knew it. It was bait. I'm, I'm a bit of a master baiter, uh, if you didn't know. Look at that guy, he's all squished. Oh, man. No, he get he get down, Mr. President today. This isn't working. The scientific method, no. What a shitter. Speaking of shitter... Donk. Donk! Lan, yes, it's safe now. Bring a phone call. Hello? Lan, a toy robo has gone into the vampire manor. Okay, I'll be right there. Mail, stay where you are. I will. Be careful, Lan. I will. Wait there and leave it for me. Ker click. Mega Man, we have to get over to the Vampire Manor quickly. All right, let's go. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. gonna end well. She's not gonna stay where she is. No, 
She's right there. It's pitch dark. This is the toy robo's doing. Let's try to remember the route we took before. Good idea. Okay, then let's go. No fucking chance, really? And then, yeah, that's that. Is that, and then we go up a little, and then we go down at some point. There it is. Django should have been there. I can't believe I got that, but also, what a bullshit fucking puzzle. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah! That's so stupid. That's like a Leckman's puzzle all over again. Man, this area seems different to all of the others. Strange, I get a sense of danger. NOT FROM THE OTHER THREE TRYING TO MURDER PEOPLE?! Something seems out of place to me too. Is it the lava? We can't afford to start yeah, shaking in our boots here. Yeah, let's go on. Let's move, Mega Man. Roger. Ah! Uh, Mega Man, what's up? Uh, I'm not sure. For a second, an evil force seemed to pass through my body. But, but I'm okay now. Let's keep going. Is it the dark chip? I don't know. Welcome. This is the Drackey Cyber World. This is the story of the Solar Boy vs. the Vampire. I heard something about things going crazy outside, but you needn't worry about that. Ready to ride? Shall we be on our way then? There are four different navvies escorting us across these. I hope this is just red dyed water and not, you know, lava or blood. It's lo lava. I could be blood too. Don't even be so startled, Teehee. Chapter 1. Django, the solar boy, carried Blank, the solar gun. And the, with the Blank that had been worn by his father, he set off to defeat vampires. On that same night, the lid of a giant coffin slowly opened. It's dinner time. Having just woken, the evil occupant spread his wings and flew off into a jet black sky. Alright, uh, Gundel Soul and Crimson Scarf. Crimson Scarf. Sometimes whenever I see the encounter thing pop up, my vision goes red. Oh, I was able to run! Walsh? What? That explains why it's all uh, fucked up. I wonder if that's a lot of code. Hmm. Probably. It's the same length. No, because the auto codes can only be numbers. Gunsoul. Oh, but I wanted to know what it's. Oh, fuck you. Bastards. Uh, Gunsoul, Crimson Scarf. I should start saving in front of that, because if I accidentally do one backwards, I have to go all the way back and pick them up whenever I could just reset and do it right. That... yeah... Chapter 2! On his travels, Django meant... Blank. Me! The Sun Spirit, and they decided to travel together. Just a little after starting off, the Sun Spirit felt an extraordinary dark power coming from the east. The two travelers then started walking in that direction. Uh, so that would be Otenko. I think we can run! Woo! So obviously I'm gonna have to come back here a second time for the other... ...one. Yeah... She's gonna give it to me first. I was tempted to wait for the second time to get this one, because I had to run farther anyway. But what if it's an HP memory and it lets me run away from battle easier? Be real upset if I didn't get that first. I don't know why I shot him. Pack him up. HP memory. Look at that. See, look at that. I would have been mad. Insert a tanko. Kinky. 
Oh, tank. Woo. Say Otanku three times fast. No. Chapter 3, Master Otanko led the way to an eastern town and something super vampire Draki immune to garlic and cross. Draki's manor. The manor where the sun shine, sunlight, something, sun doesn't shine. No, they're hitting him in the balls? What the fuck? I knew, I knew you'd fucking say it. What did you know that you should shut the fuck up? I did it, no. I ran. Now you know. Moonlight. Sunlight. And now that I know I can't read it. Miss Sun. So what are your impressions of this uh, very underwhelming game so far? It's very fucking annoying. It picks up later. However, there like, are, there are different problems. Like it has its good. There, there's its combat's really good, but the everything else about it it's just really chugs balls. Like the music's also good, but it's really repetitive. But once I start getting more chips and more uh, souls, it'll uh, definitely pick up in pace. It's nothing. Don't let it worry you, Tihi. I don't like this guy. No, neither do I. Don't. Why? Huh? Something doesn't seem right. Oh my goodness. It looks like the story has changed somehow. Before conversion, we have to choose the correct storyline. This is so arbitrary. Right, we have to choose the correct storyline here. Helpless before Draki's attack, Django eats the solar fruit blank in order to gain strength. Apple. Yes, congratulations. At last, the final door. Chapter 4. Draki attacked Django with his bite of certain death. Just one bite of that potency could fell an elephant. Uh, being yeah. light, sunlight had come from blank. Something gundosal. Oh no. Homie's gotta read it again. Okay, the sunlight had come from... Django had held up the gun dustle, let out a scream. Okay, Tayo. So the sun came from something. And Tayo. Eat my ass, virus encounters! The virus encounters don't feel so... awful. But the fact that I'm just having to deal with them, I'm mad. Mom! I don't think he called out for his mom. He goes, Mommy! Skylight? Skylight could be right. Tayo. Viro. It's... So unless this uh, clue is super obvious, uh, I'm not sure. Manhead? No. Skylight. He calls out for manhead. It's your alter ego. Instead of Mothman, it's Manhead. I ran from this encounter two seconds. I'm Buster Maxing. Fuck that. You know, I think it'd be fair and fine if you just Buster Max like through these because it's getting annoying. Uh, I think at this point, if I don't run away, I will. But I think I'm literally also about to hit the end of the dungeon. I guess we'll find out. Whee! Don't virus, not more viruses. Uh, this is gonna be tough, man.